Hello everyone, welcome to, uh, Tell Me Why. I don't know why I'm playing this. But, I'm pretty sure it's made by... Tell Me Why is a story-based game that keeps your choices into account. Okay, yeah. I don't- I'm pretty sure this is made by the people who made Don't- uh, not Don't Hug Me, I'm scared. <laughs> Wait, wrong thing. Uh, that made Life is Strange. I think it's made by the people who made Life is Strange. Uh, Don't Not Entertainment. Um, which I have Life is Strange before the storm if you guys want to see that. Okay. Animation's kind of pretty. Okay. Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you, Can you tell me what happened tonight? Oh, fuck. I, I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... Oh, fuck. So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Um... What the fuck? Uh... Okay, so there's gonna be no jokes in this episode, I guess. Jesus. Find the keys to the old house. Then I'm gonna drive to Fireweed and I'm... no, You're... in my desk drawer maybe. Oh fuck! All set. I think. Still need to find those damn house keys. Okay. I'm looking around. Fuck you. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. 
time and time and time and I against any two. Oh, shape of yesterday. Summertime sweet. Okay. Dusk morning. It's a good point. I honestly kind of hope they're not here. Oh come on. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. <laughs> no, don't take that. Leave that the fuck alone. <laughs> how very single I am. I need to bring this with me to Juno. No, because you're going to get my ass copyright struck. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. But it makes me happy just to look at the box. Same. Nothing to say about the airplane, just it exists. It be vibing. Uh, alright. What the fuck else do you have here, huh? I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Who the fuck are the Geminids? Are those like a, is that a band? Hey, you wanna freeze your- Oh, right. I stashed them down here. God damn it. Now I'm not gonna hear your other dialogue. Fuck. Sorry, I tried to fucking do a thing. Where are you? You're an elf. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. That's cute. This feels like another lifetime. Okay. Can I look around your room some more? Alright. I think I'm ready to go now. How do you... How do you check the Probably fucking Probably not notebook? gonna see any stars at this time of day. Actually, hold on. Not the prettiest of my creations. I could look at this artwork all day. Okay. <laughs> I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably oh, I... super rusty. For some reason, I'm surprised your lips move when you speak. Weird. <laughs> Weird. The game functions as it should. Um, no. No, I think I have to go for the door now, right? Yo, 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 yo. Door. Housekeys. How do I run? Am I just gonna be fucking lumbering everywhere? There we go. It's really pretty. I like it. It looks pretty. Ugh, Allie. She's gonna be so awkward. Hmm. Read. I know what you're thinking. A letter? <laughs> Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with an email? Figured, hey bro, I just wanted to give my twin a shout before reuniting after 10 years of... Swank Juvie is more... What? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, whatever. <laughs> You'll thank me when we're 90 and machines have taken over. You'll still have something to read by candlelight. See? Amazing. <laughs> Always think ahead. Anyways, uh, what amazing... Is that about leaving your Mai Tais? M Mentees? What? I'm confused. I'm immensely confused. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to go. <sighs> Bomb dive to leave this behind. But the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Been listening to this on a loop lately. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna <laughs> need it more than I do. <sighs> Wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, I know most of these by heart at this point. Interesting. Wait, your twin? Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Wait. Uh, cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Bye, Herbert. Bye, Herbert. No! Take Herbert! No! Save Come Herbert! On. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Take me. What the fuck? What is in the box? Wait. 
Testosterone, 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 testosterone. Wait a minute. Is this character trans? Wait, are they trans? Because I'll, why else would you mark testosterone on them? Wait. Are they? Because I, I can't really think of another situation. That and there's the picture of, like, the two girls. Um, and he's, they, he, she said his, uh, his twin, so, I don't know, is, am I completely jumping the gun? I don't think so, because why the fuck else would you write testosterone on your board, like, five times? Especially like that, like, it's, like, week after week after week. That makes sense, right? Trans? Okay, I need to, I need to wait for the game to, like, you know. Admit Hi, that for it. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's Hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi's a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <laughs> in both ways, I think. Likewise. I like Tyler. Tyler's cool. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Herbert. The food, the people. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. Honestly, the people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one <laughs> last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. Oh, I've missed I've missed this type of these types of characters. It's hard to find games with like characters like this who are I don't know, they're just fun. I don't know. I like them. They make me laugh. <laughs> oh fuck, dopamine's Oh, oh, fuck, it kicked in. Jesus. Oh. Oh, it's rare dopamine kicks in for me. No, oh, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. Like Tommy was all <laughs> so then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Oh, shit. Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I can't, I agree I'm not against that. hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet. But at least I got the school part out of the way. Oh, is that why you were there? For school? I can't believe you got a bachelor's already. Holy well, I shit. boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? 
like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Look. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're gonna have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. <laughs> I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> Left shift. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo and that's it. That's your life. Mm. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Um, look there or look there? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. Hmm. <laughs> So how does this left shift to reply thing work entirely? Do I... So, Do I just... we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but... I was right. Something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. It's nice to see her, like, accept him. I feel like that's really cool. Really like that. I like that a lot. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift from Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty. Don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. 
The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please. For me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture. And what it means to refuse one. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. I kind of feel like I should have said I don't care. Just because it's more in character, but whatever. Did you hear that? Whoa! <sighs> no place like home. Yeah. Where are you? <laughs> Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> Alright, hold on. How do I check the fucking journal? The, the crafty goblins. I like this. It's okay. so weird being back on this boat. Tyler, we need to fucking explore. Tyler. Tyler, we gotta find the collectibles. I don't know what she's talking about. I, I, out of context, though, it ain't too great. Morning. Hello. Enjoying the ride? I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I have moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Like oh. I uh, haven't been home in five years. Okay, thank you for all the fucking exposition. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off in the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. Likewise, sir. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Okay, yeah, yeah. They are an Alaskan tribe, I guess. Also, I've explored the whole fucking boat. There's no collectibles. I've been ripped off. That's pretty. That's real fucking pretty. Tyler, let's go talk to your sister. What the fuck? I'm fucking... Oh, my English skills just had a seizure, apparently. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. 
Come on, you don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. <laughs> Damn. I watched the cell footage you sent me, but seeing it for real is wild. Yeah, it was terrible. You could smell the smoke all the way oh, over shit. in Dennis Crossing. Two years later, and they haven't cleaned it up at all? The company went under after, and surprise, no one else is eager to take it on. Someone died, right? Yeah. It was a crazy day. How many fucking people have already hey, died in this game? Didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no. That was on the lake. Oh, uh, they pulled that one out. What? No. Man, so many good memories. Of pushing me into the lake? <laughs> Kids are dicks. <laughs> the neighbor kid was the one who pushed you in all the time. Yeah. What's he up to? Bobby? I, uh, kinda dated him. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I always seem to attract the assholes. Another reason why I'm not dating right now. I can see the harbor. We're almost there. I want to ask about the fucking thing over there. God damn it. Whatever. Tyler going exploring. Axe. <laughs> Collectible added. <laughs> Axe. No, you're not reading these. Can I go up here? No. What a waste of a good pun. <laughs> okay. We there yet, or what's happening there? Yeah, I've, I introduced myself to the ship captain who's also stopping here. And won't be the antagonist of this entire fucking game. <laughs> so I have Mr. Jefferson flashbacks before me. really thorough in these types of games, so sorry if that annoys you at all. But I really like seeing and collecting everything, you know? It's fun. I like it. I, mean, I love this game already. I don't know why, I just do. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural <laughs> integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. 
The only way to get this done is to do it. Okay. And by her, I'm assuming your the interview was with you. After you. After you killed your mother, and I'm assuming she's talking about the mother at this point. I don't know. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Maybe. It's called Fireweed, after all. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. <laughs> Just fucking breaks down the door. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. Break through a window? We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. <laughs> All right, y'all got like some secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. God damn it. The crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might God be living inside it. it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh. It's locked, all right. God damn it. I really wanted to hear what you were fucking going to talk about what there. What was she doing out here? Um, she did not like us using her tools. Well, at least the tools are still here. That'll help. Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. Okay. I need to let him talk. I, I... At least the shed's still standing. God damn it. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living in... Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Weird. Weird. I'm running over here in the search of collectibles, really. Nothing more. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. Yeah, the game's the game's saying fuck off, you're going too far, you cunt. What do you think you're doing? Um this looks this looks good. Do you need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. We just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Okay, wouldn't those be in I think the I shed? I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. Yep. Thought Open I sesame. Door. Let me guess. It's locked. Yep. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Stop getting in my fucking way. I'm Honey do? Explore. Nope. Honey do what? Yeah, I'm just gonna try literally every door. Why not? Okay, that was a really weird... Whatever that was, but okay. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. You gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned Wait, it into a goblin tail. Wait, do I actually leave footprints? Oh my god, I leave footprints. Don't I? Yeah, I do leave footprints. That's chill. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. Yeah, you totally, you totally leave foot, uh, imprints in the snow. That's cool. I really like that. That's really cool. So over here, okay. screwdriver. Should be something in here that'll work. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I um. Feeling something strange. To focus your bond. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. 
This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like oh. it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. Weird. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. Okay, that's weird. But each each I'm little game something flat. again. Near the barn. All right. Yeah. All right. Me too. Boom. Memory. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No. I want to see. <laughs> I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. This one. So, which- Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. Oh, I got- <laughs> Okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping the secret, buddy. Nice, so now we have the key. Take this too. Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Let's find this door. Can't open that one. Shit. How do I run? Oh, you hold down M1 to run. Alright. Wrong way. Wrong way. Over here. Um, there we go, right here. Tyler's cool though, I like these characters so far. I really have to pee though, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Am I gonna play silence? Everything okay down there? Tyler? <laughs> That's not funny! <laughs> That's funny. Then funny. why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. Alright. I'm going in for real this time. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Okay, let's just... Any triggerable memory? Memory? Memory down here? Nope. Crouch. You got this, Tyler. Come on. Ouch. Hey. Are you okay? Fuck. What happened? Fucking hit your head. Just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty, oh, just there. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't smoke dragons. Straight ahead. I need to go left, I think. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. 
Okay. So we're going this way. Can I like sprint under here? No, I can't. Oh, that's cute. And left again after the goblins. <laughs> that's cute. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Treasure room? Treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. Beware of the mad hunter. hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Am I gonna meet Mary Ann? She sounds kind of chill. over here. Ew. Wait. That was our treasure? It's just trash. We Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. <laughs> All the goofiest motherfuckers. Um. Where do I go from here? Like up here, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Here? Nope. Not here. Uh, there. You know what? Guys, I'll be right back. I really have to take a piss. Jesus Christ. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I'm back, everyone. Thank you for waiting so patiently. Oh. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. <laughs> so, coming in or what? <laughs> Just working up to it. How do we get started? 
We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Sounds like fun. Hold on. Surely there's some fucking memories around here. It doesn't seem real. Alright, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. Hey, we should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good job, and we'll be rid of that too. What would little Tyler think if he walked in here right now and saw me? <laughs> Hold on, actually. I didn't... Wow. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. <laughs> we were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah. None of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. Oh fuck, you look taller. By like a bit. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Not when we broke them. But not the part where it got broken. Especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah. You'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. <laughs> Best mom. You think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. <laughs> Shit. Normally I'd ask why they're saying all this, but the game's already explained that pretty fucking well. She pinched every penny. We didn't know that... We didn't know you love it so much. We need to be more... Be careful, not act up in the window room. So we'll try... To use good judgment. I like how they spell judgment with actual, like, mint. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry. Hold on. I can't read this shit. I'm sorry, too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. Tell, uh... Ollie? Not to be so wild anymore. Sorry. Okay. What are you reading? Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. Oh my god, fucking... yes. <laughs> we were. Just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. Hold on. So maybe if I examine this again, I can get her to, uh, go through the dialogue again. Fuck. Didn't work. Okay, let's talk, I guess. How are you feeling about being back? <sighs> I thought I knew what to expect, but 
Everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. How about you? You okay? I'm honestly not sure how I feel yet. I'm just trying to think of it as an empty house. Yeah. An empty house full of actual ghosts. Hopefully they're friendly ghosts. Hold on. There we go. That's something to remember. Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. Made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True, but it felt personal with me. That makes sense. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No, Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. <sighs> she was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. Hmm. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. Collectible? I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. That makes sense. I guess. Um, anything in the kitchen I'm missing? I don't think so. I think I have to go upstairs. So, upstairs we go, I guess. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? <laughs> uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. Uh, a Tale of Two Swords. Okay. Kids book. Okay, whatever. How do you run? The fact shift isn't just run is really getting on my nerves in a way. I don't know why. It just, it's just hard to process, I guess. Now this, this feels like home. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Okay. It's a bit sad when you say it like that. Um. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Ugh. Some of her old toys give me the creeps. Fuck, can I do this with one hand? Okay. Impressive. Look what I found! Hand. What? Only the our creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? 
It was in that chest the whole time. All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Holy shit. These are like actual fucking stories. Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Cool, we're gonna find your diary, Mom. homie. Mom! Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? <sighs> what now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning. Jesus. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too... You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. Okay, I unlocked a memory some fucking where. It's not here. Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Shh. Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Oh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. The Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. Where the fuck is her room? Hold on. So, kids' room, hallway, fort. So it's not on. It's not on the second floor. Okay. So it's got to be down here, right? It's nowhere up there, so it's got to be over here somewhere. Um, not over there. It's fucking over there. Here? Yeah, that looks. Hold like up. Her. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately, 
You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. As long as it doesn't take too much Hand effort on my part, I'll do it, I guess. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. Don't make me actually First read First ghost these. memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. The one about the princess's tea party? Um, let's go to the... Uh, the princess's tea party, right? Um, the princess's party. It's the anniversary, since it's sadness in the forest, so I could have party. And it's never fun. with a mischief. Three identical boxes. Um, hmm. Is it just the order of them? No, that's way too fucking basic. Let me, let me read over it for another minute or so. Fuck it. You know what? I'm just gonna look it up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna look it up. Give me a second. IGN, for the love of God, help me. Left to right, a torch, a sword, and a pouch of gold. Um. Moose? Or a bear? Pelican. There we go. Sorry, I just honestly have no fucking patience for puzzles. I suck at puzzles, so I don't fucking do them. And boom. We're in. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. 
Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Probably like under the bed here. It's here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I love the lucky ass guess. Of course. She was nosy as hell. Find that. It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad at I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. Tyler, come here. Yeah, that is... She Why can't would do this she... to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave. And she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I think I need some air. Is that it for chapter one? Seems like a good stopping point. Maybe it's not. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay, this is her cutting his hair. Hey. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Children of scissors scare me. Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm um, pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't trust children with scissors. They don't know how to cut hair. <laughs> Mom? <laughs> oh, God, Mom! don't. Uh, oh, God. Don't. Don't. Come on. 
I, you know what's gonna happen, but you don't want it to happen, you know? It's one of those things. You know it's happening, but you don't want it to happen anyways. Are they actually gonna show it though? God. Okay, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna just gonna just gonna I'm just gonna Mom? wrong. This is all wrong. Wait! Stop! Was she gonna shoot herself, or was she going to go kill both of her kids? Because that, that is a double barrel shotgun, right? So either one is possible, I, I suppose. Both are really fucked up, but they're possible. Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Ooh. Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. Then why would she have to... she did, and they aren't. God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the if thought she didn't read it, why would she have to a kill me book for about being trans me? Uh, transgender Tyler, children? I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Must be nice to forget. Uh, maybe, I guess. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. And then we found the book, and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. 
Why the fuck would he want to go back? Why the fuck would he want to come back here? Yeah. It's not what? that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. I'm tempted to say, I'm tempted to say this one, but no, we need to play things smart. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place, and the smells... Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. Well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about you start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne. But we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right, deal. I'm probably gonna lean way too far on this Marion plot. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee you, yeah. who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Turn the page. Um. Wait, what? Saw Star Wars at Bobby's place? Got mad, she... Said a glorified war... Happy she wanted to... Change. Nice ring. Get from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe That's in all cool. that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Yeah. Fair <laughs> I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. Already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. Wait, don't you have to like continuously take testosterone? How are you gonna keep getting not a testosterone? Bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? I don't know what the fuck I'm lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong, at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. <sighs> Alright, I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't gonna say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. 
I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Ah, uh -huh. my sister. The social butterfly. <laughs> Seems we got a trespasser. Uh, what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your uh, property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This Who the is fuck is Sam? House. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never. Damn, you look like a real man. Oh, so do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. Because that is a man. I am a man, yeah. That. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. Kind of. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it. Because we aren't going anywhere. Okay, okay, that's a bit far. Okay. Chill. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got? Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mom had never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. Uh, yeah, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan, which... By the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Yeah. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Uh, this place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam? We all gotta get going. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... 
<sighs> Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm. This place... It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... It was a part of her, and... And it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, oh, take yeah. care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Tyler, before the music starts, you gotta get the fuck up. They're gonna fucking... I'm gonna get fucking copyright struck. Get the fuck up, Tyler. Fucking Tyler. But back to my point earlier, don't trans people need to like continuously take um, either testosterone or estrogen? Or am I just not educated on the subject? I don't know. I thought they did, but maybe I'm wrong. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? What? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. <gasps> Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Oh shit. Alright, so we're playing as her now? That's interesting. So we're switching characters. I didn't think they would do that. Cool. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. Oh, his voice act- it, that voice acting is kinda So, hard. uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally- He's looking kinda of hot, too. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. <laughs> Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <laughs> What's that? Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. 
bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish, even if she filled the lake with cyanide <laughs> first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. <laughs> Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. I like Michael. Michael's best character. <laughs> oh, fuck. Whoa. Okay, you run. Okay, I like that. I like... No, you're not running anymore, you fucking dick. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Remember. God damn it, remember. I want to have the crispy tocino. And noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm. No, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. That's kind of cool. Come on. Oh, I should have listened to what you say. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. Mm. Well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at he the old house. But surprise, surprise, weird. after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the Homecoming? Word. Isn't that the name of the chapter? Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay. 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 So we need candles and an all cleaner. Right, Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't going to share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Tyler, remember the Trout King? No way, it's still here. I thought Tom would have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder. <laughs> hey, Tom, when'd you get that new California plate? You remember that nice young couple who came through town last summer? With the funky oh, band. Man. They sent the you their license plate? Everything their band got it down. Does I hate but it. I pulled some strings to get it out. So, by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? I've got friends in high places. <laughs> I've got friends in high places. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. How many times are they gonna have to Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? What the Finding fuck is he talking everything about? you need? Place is a mess. Yeah. I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. It is, and it doesn't help that everyone around here keeps making it weirder, but he's doing okay, all things considered. Hmm, I feel like there's a story there. Come on, spill. We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us yeah, can, can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Okay. Man, I wish we had a toaster. 
We could stock up on frozen waffles. Hey, have you still not picked anything out? Oh, uh, remind me what we need again. Repeat after me. An all-purpose cleaner, candles, drinks, and some snacks. All right, I got it. What I got it. the fuck are the candles? Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world-famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Can I... Can I take it? No, I can't. Um, where the fuck is the all-purpose cleaner? Candles. Where the fuck would you put the candles? Um, all-purpose cleaner. Where is the all-purpose candle? The all-purpose candles. Yes, my favorite item. Dude, so where the fuck? You think we should get the organic one? Or the industrial strength planet killer. Organic. Oh, we might have I'm to scrub a, a little harder, but I'd never be able to look those beavers in the eye again if we use those chemicals. Organic one it is. Oh, does he just so, slowly... Uh, what kind of lure would you use for a steelhead? Well, it's hard to beat little Cleos, but depends on conditions. Wait, is this a pop quiz? <laughs> hey, I had to be sure. What, you think I'm like catfishing you? Well, can you blame me for being skeptical of an outdoorsy Ronan? Hmm. No. No, I cannot. Cool. So, it's over there. What are these? Hey, Tyler. Candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Sugar rush it is. Alright. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, Toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of the fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Just browsing these fancy ass candles. Oh, those you look only nice. Once. Yeah, those look nice. That should be everything, right? What do we still need to get? Something to drink. Yo, Tyler, you want some soda? My next fishing trip. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Grape I'll soda it is. Grape soda. Ooh, wild. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will bring us up at the counter. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. That does not look like nearly enough chance. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. Me plus beard. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. That picture You're on the, the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. Yeah, really. What happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we know? can know. I How need to do go you now. Mean? That doesn't make sense. Best of luck to you, truly. What are you talking about? What the hell was that? Yeah. I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like 
Something's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, that door was the thing that was... Okay, there's something here. Soon. Let's look for it a bit. There we go. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it. But not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Is there anything else for me to do here? Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Examine. What's this doing here? Oh, I found the fucking pelican. Hell yeah. Pelican found. Why the fuck is there a, pel a pelican in there? Not a damn clue. Who cares? Is there something I can do for you? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? Hmm, <laughs> yes. What a lucky coincidence. No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um, shaving products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything. But, uh, thanks. Good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. No, never mind. Okay, so what are we doing? Are we just fucking leaving, or what are we doing here? Oh, there's a memory around. Come the fuck here. You fucking memory. Mom? God Can damn it. Go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Look, we need to agree on one diversion if we're going to talk to Tessa about this. I really think I'm I want to talk to you. Which is it going to be? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? You hearing this? Marianne is- Yeah, we're gone. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. Oh, I'll be right back. People are fucking yelling at me in my house for some reason. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it. Hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. 
But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Sorry, my, my roommate's being a fucking weird ass fucking person. Uh, what are we fucking doing now? I'm confused. Do we just leave her? Yo, Tazza! Tazzy! Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. Canasta. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. Why would you say that out loud? I think loud? she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> a duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build yeah. as strong of a case as possible. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that we can figure out what sense. song it was. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? I like that. Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Yeah. Boom. Come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I 
forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? That's a good question. What did happen there? I don't know. Let's see. Well, I got the memory detector thing on, so... If there is, I'll find it. How did you get the fuck out of the way? Yeah, there was no way in how they were putting two in like the same book. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Remember. What do you have here? Kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Mm. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. What are you cool. doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help in the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Oh, I see what was happening. That pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann. I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe... Is there something I can do for you? Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? Hmm. No, maybe not. Yeah, let's make sure we've been thorough. Okay. Let's talk Shouldn't about we try it. to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business? Hmm. Oh, outside. Right, isn't there a pamphlet for it outside, actually? Um... Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Let's look around. Um, fuck. I, I don't happen to remember it off the top of my head. This kind of sucks. I don't see any memories out here, though. That kind of sucks. Aren't right here, maybe? by chance fucking oh there we go boom hey ollie look i'm the ruler of this kingdom oh my god kid that was the worst pun i've ever Get fucking it? heard because it's a dome you're gonna fall stupid fall that was funny <gasps> that was funny no I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I love baiting you. It's my favorite thing.
Weren't they talking about demolishing this playground? Yeah. Tourists complained it wasn't safe. Ugh, crybabies. Playground Thank should fucking be ground zero God. for natural selection. <laughs> My roommate doesn't know how yep. the fuck to leave. Unfortunately, Dello's Crossing is too cheap to replace it. Okay. Um. Fuck, man. I don't know. I've been around the entire store. Been outside. Um, I think that's everything I need. Yo, Tezza. Is there something I can do for you? No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um... Shaving I've products? been through. No, we've been through You've this. Got some on sale. I no. think he's got everything. But uh, thanks. Good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? I think we've got a good sense of the situation. Yeah. It's time to confront her. All right. We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. Um, fuck. Wasn't it April? April 2004. Isn't that when she stopped trying to pay off her debts? Mm-mm. No, that doesn't sound right. We were still on good terms then. So you did end up on bad terms at some point? When? I honestly can't pinpoint the exact moment. But she got harder and harder to be around. I'm sure we never fought about money though. I, I could see that she was struggling. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You pushed gay conversion? You were mad she bailed on you? She was done being judged. Um, that sounds more accurate. She sounded like she'd had enough of Delos Crossing. She said she was done with you and the whole town. Was she having some sort of episode that day? I'm sorry. I'm really trying hard, but I just can't remember. Got it. Your mother acted erratic for months. We fought many times. Was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No. And I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you help me? I truly don't understand what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. I hope you find your answers. I really do. I pray every night for you, too. But I... I have a lot on my plate right now. So, I need to ask you to leave. Sure, we'd hate to be a burden. Can we have our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. She led us on a bit of a conversational snipe hunt, didn't she? Yeah, but it's kind of an answer, right? She didn't want to admit what they were fighting about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I, I'm really happy for you. But that just opens a whole new box of Pandoras, doesn't it? Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. <laughs>